A somber night on the San Mateo County coast, the Half Moon Bay community came together this evening to remember the victims of a mass shooting at two farms. Seven people died, another person critically injured, but survived the massacre that happened nearly a year ago. Here's NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen. Some moving moments tonight at this ceremony, not just to remember the victims, but also to continue the work that came in the aftermath of this tragedy to improve the lives of the survivors. Today, let's not forget, never again. Half Moon Bay's mayor led tonight's remembrance ceremony, remembering the victims who lost their lives to the workplace gun violence a year ago Tuesday. Farm workers, I never been recognized. And he reminded everyone how vital farm workers are to all of our lives, but are often forgotten and treated as second class citizens. We owe it to them. Let's not forget that. Their safety, their well being, that includes decent housing. Speakers included retiring U.S. Congresswoman Anna Eshoo, who said everyone needs to remember the victims and help improve living and working conditions that were exposed by the tragedy. And so in remembering them, there's also honoring them to correct, to fill the gaps, the holes that can exist in a community. 66-year-old Chun Li Zhao was arrested shortly after the shooting as he sat in his parked car in the Half Moon Bay Sheriff's substation lot. Several days later, in a jailhouse interview with NBC Bay Area, he admitted to the murders but later pleaded not guilty in court to all charges. Following the tragedy, Eshu delivered a moving speech and she rekindled gun control talks in Congress. In an interview before tonight's ceremony, she promised it will one day be reality as long as we never forget about the victims of gun violence. One of these days, it's going to pass. It's going to pass, but we have to stay on it. And attendees came together in a moment of silence to close the ceremony, vowing that they won't forget. A specially selected community committee continues to work on a permanent memorial for the victims and also on that work to foster improvements for the migrant worker environments. In Half Moon Bay, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.